Hello my crochet friends, this is Lady Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a crochet pattern called Aligned. This crochet pattern is also known as Aligned Cobble Stitch or Aligned Puff Stitch. It's a textured crochet pattern that creates a visual appealing and textile fabric. The pattern alternate rows of the basic stitch with rows of puff stitches or other textured stitches created an aligned grid-like appearance. It's great for adding depth and interest to projects such as blankets, scarves, and home decor items. Here's how to create this aligned crochet pattern. For this pattern, I'm going to be using a medium yarn weight number four and a, a four millimeter crochet hook. First thing we're going to do is a slip knot. And this pattern takes an odd number of chains we, that we start off with. I'm going to be doing a foundation chain of 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Make sure the chain is not too tight so you don't have any issues. I'm going to be working with this loop and also the back bump. Row one, we're going to start with a two double crochet in the fifth chain from hook. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, you yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Next, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip a stitch, and we're going to continue with two double crochet into the next stitch, skip two double crochet, and we're going to do this till the end of the row. Every time you finish two double crochets. Skip this chain, skip the stitch into the next, two double crochet, chain, skip stitch, two double crochet, chain, skip, two double crochet, When we have two stitches left, we're not gonna do a chain here. We're going to do a double crochet into this last stitch. Yarn over and do your double crochet. Like this, so this is row number one. Row number two, chain, turn, do a single crochet into the double crochet stitch you just did. Chain one. You're going to do a single crochet between the next two double crochet. The next two double crochet is this one here. This is the next two. So this means we have to go in between these to do our single crochet. Like this. And then we chain one again. Then we do a single crochet between the next two double crochet. The next two double crochets are these ones. So we're going to do, go in between and do a single crochet, chain, and we continue. This group of two double crochet, we go in between and we do a single crochet, a chain, and we continue till the end. So once we're at the end, we're going to do a chain and we're going to do a single crochet at the top of our turning chain. Like this, see how I picked up both loops. And then you complete your single crochet. So this is our row two completed. Let's do our row three. Chain three, one, two, three. 
three and the chain three does count as a double crochet turn we will be doing two double crochet in each of the single crochet we made in the last row which is this one here this is a space single crochet space single crochet space single crochet so in each sing single crochet we do two double crochet and then we go to the next single crochet double crochets again are into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops so we continue like this till the end once we reach the end of the row we're going to do a double crochet into the last single crochet which is this one this is our third row completed look how pretty it is i do have a larger sample to show you look at the detail i really enjoyed making this i think this is pretty and it's easy once you understand how the pattern works i hope this was helpful i hope they enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one